The community that lies within Warwick, New York is home to a variety of people, places, and things, but Warwick also takes great pride in helping local life flourish. Winslow Therapeutic Riding Center is one place in Warwick that gives the word community a whole new meaning. I have been working here for about eight years and uh, the staff that I work with is wonderful. I consider almost everybody I work with a friend. Um, they are all very supportive, they are all very kind, they are all very dedicated to the people that they work with and the animals that they care for um, and the community that they serve. And uh, it's just a really great environment to be a part of. But the friendly and family-like connection is not something new to this nonprofit organization, but instead started many years ago. Winslow Therapeutic Center opened in 1974. It was founded by Virginia Mazza and Virginia Martin. They were two horsewomen with a background in special ed and saw the need of activities at first for children with special needs in the community. So they got together with some special ed parents and their families and they had a spot over in Vernon, New Jersey where they started riding children. They had a porter potty and a trailer and that was really it. In 2000-2001 we had our building put up here on 17A and we were children centered mostly. We would accept everybody and anybody but there was a main serve around the children. So now 2023 in the last five six years We've really opened that up and now we host an adult day program and we're really gearing towards having both children and adults with disabilities here at Winslow. Winslow is not only for neurodivergent children, <laughs> they also cater to an adult audience and anyone able-bodied or not who wants to experience horse riding for a fun or therapeutic purpose. This gives people the chance to connect with all different kinds of kids and adults during a lesson, activity, or when helping out. I wish everybody knew that Winslow was all inclusive. There's something here for everybody, whether it's wanting to make a difference and become a volunteer or learn to become an instructor, or if you want to learn something like riding a horse or working with a horse on the ground. Along with being able to connect with others, everyone who walks through the doors of Winslow has something nice and inspiring to say about their experience here. I've been riding here since I was three years old, so I know the place a lot, uh, volunteering. Yeah, I just love being here with the horses, you know, giving them loving and everything. If you do not want to only take horse riding lessons, there are other programs to choose from and to be a part of that are for a wide range of ages. Well, there's summer adventures, which you pretty much get to hang out with the animals and you get to ride, and it's pretty much just over the summer. YLA is for the older kids, and you get to go on field trips and all sorts of stuff. And then there's Dayhab for the more adult people, where you get to do a bunch of fun like crafts, and you get to see the animals and a bunch of fun things. Out of everyone who attends these programs, I got the chance to interview one of the members of the Adult Day Hab program and ask them what they love most about coming here. I like riding the horses. I also like taking care of some of the people we have um, have autism. I like to help. I like to help people out uh, in need, and I like to I like to uh, go see the goats and the chickens. Basically, it's a variety of things that I like to do here. Horses are good animals to, um, if you're feeling bad or if you're feeling sad, they're good animals to, that they can relate to and they can um, hopefully feel better if they, you know, be around horses. From therapeutic horse riding to volunteering and being able to feed and clean the horses, or even attending to the goats and chickens on the property, there is something for everyone to indulge in here at Winslow. So it's not just for special needs, we have other programs. Um, my kids have been coming to summer camp, they've been coming to Day at the Barn, they are, they've been growing up here ever since they were little, um, and they've had exposure to people, people in the special needs community which they probably wouldn't otherwise have had, so they have gotten to see different facets of life. 